Alright, I think it's about time that we head back to Sunlet Waterscape. Here we go. Alright, Sunlet Waterscape. Time and We're coming for you, Snow. Don't go kill that great big old flan that I already killed by yourself. That would be a not good thing. I haven't seen any similar spoilers to that effect, so I'm hoping that didn't happen. Huh? Where's Snow? I knew it. He's gone off to fight on his own. Well, he looks like he's still alive. I didn't see him. Um, so yeah, I I haven't heard any major spoilers yet, but I have heard certain things like, oh JB, you're gonna hate the ending, or stuff like that. And to that I say, don't tell me anything! I don't want to know! I don't want to know anything! It's not that bad, he's just, he's weakened. I mean, he's even flashing weakened. I mean, heck, I can beat him unweakened, so I don't think this would be too much. Of course, I was using a slightly different strategy. This is kind of my full-on go-way-too-fast strategy. So let's see if, uh, I do know that he, he hits fast and he doesn't hurt very much. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll heal in about 10 months. He's gonna get some stabs back on us, huh? Poison. Uh, let's get rid of poison. Just get rid of it. Yep. That took us forever. Uh -huh. Yeah, having him weakened is, is not very difficult at this point. Probably could just switch to Cerberus and take him out. So, uh, a friend of mine has been calling it Kerberos for quite a while, and I thought that was funny. So, I asked him why he's calling it Kerberos, and he says, uh, did you even see the Greek pronunciation? It's Kerberos, or something like that. I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. I'll still call it Cerberus. Looks like I needed the cavalry after all. <laughs> Maybe going solo was a bad idea. You knew you had no chance of winning. Why did you even try? <sighs> Fang and Vanille, I guess. <clears throat> I knew it was stupid. But the pillar is getting eaten away bit by bit. I can't just stand by and watch. Not when those two are in danger. Couldn't just sit still and wait for help, could you? T typical. Hey, I do what I do, all right? You're the worst of them all. I hate your kind. You think you're everyone's protector, everyone's hero. But who do you save, really? You even realize how useless you are? Do you realize what you do to the people you're supposed to protect? Now you wait just a damn minute. You've been looking after Sarah. And back in your own time, you protected your village and your friends. Am I wrong? Seems to me you and I are pretty much the same. No. You... You don't get it. You don't know anything. You're wrong. We're not the same. I... couldn't protect anyone. No? You know what? Forget it. Maybe you're right. But you've got to survive. Because if you don't, then neither will anyone you love. Listen, I'm sorry I charged in on my own. Snow, I 
guess what I'm saying is, you keep looking after Sarah for me, okay? Huh? Snow? What's happening? The time is up. Wait, but we resolved the paradox. Maybe that's the reason. The timeline is correcting itself. Things that don't belong in this era are disappearing. Snow is a contradiction. He comes from a past that no longer exists. No! Stop it! I won't let you go! Sorry, Sarah. I can't be with you here. No! Please don't leave me! I can't lose you over and It'll over! It'll be okay. Heroes never die. A secret? But how? This, this is what it means to change time. Why did he have the brand? Who made Snow on the sea? Why? He might not have been forced. Maybe it was something he asked for. Not in a million years! Who would be insane and stupid enough to do that? What if you needed to protect someone? And you could only do that with the power of the Lassie. Everyone knows what happens to Lassie. Succeed or fail, they're doomed. Snow only cares about the people he's trying to protect. Damn the consequences. Damn himself. If it means helping my friends, I'll gladly become a Lassie. Sound like something he'd say? And you... You hate him for that. Yes, I hate him. But I understand it. That's it. Huh? I've decided. Snow is always putting himself in danger, trying to save others. So, I'm going to save him. When I became a Lassie, he did everything he could to help me. Now it's my turn. I swear. I won't stop until I find him again. Okay. And I'll make sure you do. He asked me to look after you, remember? <sighs> when two people part and go their separate ways, their memories split as well. Some people wish they could go back and be together like before. Others look forward to the day they can meet again. Sarah. The future is yours. Follow your path. Don't stop now. Cocoon should hold now, for a while longer at least. The rest will have to leave to Hope and the other researchers. We better be seeing snow again. That's all I'm gonna say about that. We better see him again. All right. That's why I love these characters. Whew. We might not be able to reach it. It's not a problem for our buddy Mog now, is it? Leave it to me, Kubo. Mog, you went too far. Jeez, you idiot. Thank you. Silly mug. Get the thing. And head for the gate. Where's the gate? Over there. Alright. Jeez. That, uh... That was a cutscene. And yeah, that's that's exactly why I love these characters, you know? You think that Snow's off doing his own thing, you think that he's an idiot for doing that. But then you get a cutscene like that and it shows exactly why. Thank you. Just waiting for that A button. Restoration artifact. Okay. Shall we? 
Let's. You... will you allow this? It is not for me to decide. memory frozen in crystal sarah and noel emerge from the gate at the entrance to an extravagant palace but with the doors firmly locked and no sign of occupants the two are forced to return the way they came i think we've already been in here i think we've already been in here as well but Detour. Uh, it's easy to get lost when you leap across time, Kupo. We can go back to the gate anytime. Let's take a breather. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Say, Sarah. Hmm. You remember when you told me that you saw lightning in me in your dreams? Kupo? Yeah. Are you still having them? No. The last time I saw lightning was the night before we met. Although, I've had lots of dreams about what happened the next day. Okay. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Mm. Alright. My turn. I want to know about Yule. I don't know anything about either of the Yules you met. What do you mean? She could be a time traveler, right? Just like you and me and Snow. No, I don't think so. She's like a reincarnation. A new Yule born over and over. In each generation of the Farseers, a girl with the same face, the same power is born. A girl is always called Yule. So you're saying every age we travel to, there's a different Yule waiting? A Yule from Erba, and a Yule from Yasha's Massif. But they're all different. And neither are the Yule I knew. <sighs> Although it took me a long time to actually start believing it. Uh. Kupu. Noel, I've been thinking. If we keep traveling through time, and resolving paradoxes, and changing history, doesn't that mean the future you come from will change along with everything else? Perhaps it'll become a future where I never existed. Is that possible? Sure it is. But it's okay if it does. There's too much sadness in my world. Your future. It'd be better if it never happened at all. Oh. Yeah. Well, come on. Let's go. We've got a date with lightning, remember? Yeah. Okay. Kupo? Hmm. Something looks different from the last time we were here. Mog, is this even the same place? This is the void beyond, Kubo. It's just one of the many shadows of Valhalla to be found, Kubo. So it looks similar, but it's really a separate world. That's why there are all these little differences. Makes sense. Let's go see what changed. Alright, I don't know how they do it. But they can sit here, on this fallen pillar, for, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, and not pick up this chest. What is wrong with them? Ah, okay. Can I go further this way? Not much further. Help out, Mog. 
Do what you were born to do. Get checked. I don't think there's any enemies in here, so he can do his thing while I take a look around. We get a gate seal. Nice. I hear another one. There it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll just head through here when he's done. The column gate seal. I think that's everything. A throne without a ruler. I wonder who used to sit here. A goddess or some other deity? Hmm. I think it's Etro's throne. That's my guess. Can we go past? No, we can't go past here. Sure, let's go into a space-time distortion. Sounds like fun. Sweet! Alright. Oh boy. I'm not looking forward to serendipity, but I'm sure all you guys are. So, uh, we'll go there next.